Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see from this picture, um, I got myself another frame. A bit rough around the edges as usual, um, but I managed to swap it out with a mate uh, for a few bits and pieces that he wanted and um, I just thought, oh well, why not? Let's just grab these bits while we're at it. So um, basically it's a rather large frame as you can tell by the head tube. She's about a 62 centimeter. Luckily I'm 6'2 with long legs, I can fit over this one. So it'll make a good um, commuter bike. And that's what I'm thinking. Just a local commuter hack. Um, always a shame to just see these things go to waste. So I might as well turn it into something. But I want to make it comfortable instead of uh, relying on my usual bikes to roll down the shops in with drop bars and you know, sort of race positioning. So uh, I'll have a sit up and sit up and pedal comfortably bike. And this is what this one's going to be. As you can see, it's a TIG weld frame. So probably nothing special. Probably just standard. Um, Ooh, what would you call that? I would say that's uh, high tensile steel because um, it's quite thick tubing. Still got the bottom bracket in there which I'm going to attempt to get out. Um, the other side of the crank's still on there. And there's the fork. Uh, and I've got a couple of wheels. These are just some wheels lying in the shed as, as usual. And uh, these tyres actually, I don't think these fit even though they're brand new uh, happy mediums. Kinder happy mediums I think. Well, um, probably be changing those out for another set there's a 35 in there these are 40s they don't fit in so i'll look for a set of 35s and show you what i've got um and like i said for comfort purposes i'm thinking of putting on these sort of bars which are back sweeping with a rise i don't actually know what model these are but anyway you can see how they how they work uh that'll be quite comfortable that'll keep me upright i'll make that to this old crusty skiff stem which i will need to clean up found that in the shed um, comfort saddle needs a little bit of cleaning but I think that big old boy there will be big soft and comfortable some uh, ergo grips make it real comfortable got a, I got a new headset here I found in the um, shed which I haven't used yet so this is a one inch threaded headset which is what the frame's going to take so we'll roll with that bell this is the seat post um, the original saddle that came with the bike doesn't look too comfortable so we'll probably lose that um, yeah, so that, that's the seat post. It's like a 25.4, very skinny seat post, which is a good giveaway that the frame is probably just a high tensile frame. Sort of nickname. Hello, look at that. What's she doing in there? Anyway, um, yeah, and I've got some flat pedals, and I'm running a, I'm gonna, I am going to be running a single crank. It's actually a narrow wide fitment. Um, it's like a 40, probably, what does it say there? 40 tooth. I'll run that. It's got an axle and external bottom bracket so that should all go in a couple of brakes and obviously single speed setup and i'll just get a chain out of the bag of chains and run that on there a couple of brake levers and overall that should be um a nice wee commuter bike so yeah i'm looking forward to building it and i'm not sure i might do the stretch this out over a few uh videos instead of trying to put it all together at once but i'll accumulate some more parts um Maybe go see another mate about some slightly skinnier tyres or see what I've got in the shed and um, get them to fit this frame because it, yeah, don't want any rubbing and I want it to be nice and fat and cushy. I don't want skinny road tyres so we'll, get, we'll max out the spacing as, well, as much as we can get and uh, it might then it will look good too. Right, a little close up of the frame. Um, here we go. So as you can see, here's my hand. She's a giant, so 62, like I say, is my limit. Um, TIG welded, internal cabling is going to fire in there. A little rusty, well, surface rust. May or may not clean that up, may just put some stickers over it. Um, nothing too fancy, actually. Um, just some stamp dropouts, so nothing great there. Overall, just a really basic looking frame, which is uh, good to repurpose it into something instead of letting it sit and rot away. Um, you can see by the uh, tubing it's not double butted or anything, it's actually sleeved and pretty damn basic. So yeah, there you go. That's the large frame. Um, I think it's going to look pretty cool. So uh, just a quick wee video, I'll put another one up shortly when I start building the bike. At the moment, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure i got all the parts together and um, we'll catch up with you guys on the next one. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you later.